it's fun to think we're all here because of a cosmic event that happened seven years ago. The day the stars lined up over Davis, California, when Mimi and Matt laid eyes on each other for the first time. Shelly, Matthew, and Matt, I vow to love every one of you forever. Shelly was the one who swooped me off my feet in college. A handsome, ripped, older guy with enough confidence to fill a room. After our first date at Burgers and Brew in Davis, I texted my closest friends a screenshot of his abs <laughs> with the... <laughs> it's true. <laughs> with the caption, I found my husband. Little did they know, I found more than that. I found my soulmate. I always used to say that I didn't believe in luck. I've worn the number 13 on my back throughout my entire career as a testament to that belief. But I can now finally admit that you've made me change my mind. The best thing that's ever happened to me was meeting you. And I've honestly kept myself awake at night thinking about how easily that could have never happened. If I had never switched my Facebook page to private, <laughs> you could have easily just stalked my public photos <laughs> without ever needing to send me that friend request. If one of my groomsmen standing here today hadn't talked me out into going out that night, I would have never ran into you at that water polo party. When I think about how many details had to fall into place for us to have met, how could I not possibly believe in luck? As many of you may know, Mimi can be a little picky. She never had a boyfriend growing up, despite being the prettiest girl in class. That is, until college, when coincidentally, she also became an avid soccer fan. <laughs> Having known her for practically my whole life, I was curious what sparked this new interest in the sport. Then I met Shelly, <laughs> and it all made sense. For Mimi, love had always been elusive. All those years later, you both continue to bring out the best in each other. We grew up singing to Taylor Swift, dreaming about our own love story. I'm overjoyed that I get to be part of yours and to watch you fall deeper in love with each other each and every day. I hate to admit it, but growing up, I always kind of wanted to be like Matt. He has proved so many people wrong who have doubted his abilities, and most importantly, he has proved to himself that he is truly capable to do anything that his heart desires. As a little brother, I have learned many things from this idiot over the years. It didn't take me long to fall deeply in love with Shelly. He made me love the middle of the week when he dedicated every Wednesday evening to spending time with me during his busy college schedule. All we had were these little moments between Tuesdays and Thursdays, but they felt like a lifetime. Shelly is my love, my greatest admirer, and my greatest admiration. I fell in love with Matthew when I went home to Portland with him for the first time on Valentine's Day. I saw the time capsule of a room he lived in at his parents' house with little Matthew and high school Matthew's accomplishments all over the walls. I saw a kind-hearted son and brother who more than anything just wants to make people laugh. Matthew always makes me feel loved in his own special way. Yeah!
I'm so incredibly fortunate to have met you because you've had such a positive impact on my life. You've taught me how to give without asking anything in return. You were out there driving me around in San Diego for hours, helping me search for open fields to train at. You were the one holding the camera for my very first YouTube video. You were the one offering me the last crescent roll while I was simultaneously shouting dibs. And you're the one willing to sacrifice any semblance of a normal life in order to bounce around with me as I pursued my dream. I fell in love with Matt when I saw him on the field training kids of all ages to play soccer like he does. Matt always goes out of his way to make the shy, lonely kids feel appreciated. He knows what it's like to not feel good enough, confident enough, or loved enough. So Matt lifts people up when they need it most. Matt makes me feel like my career, my personality, and my love is in them. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> want it to be known that Mimi is a super amazing person and I'm glad that she found Matt because if she found somebody with the same like type A personality that I have it would never have worked so I'm glad she found someone like Matt that's super agreeable and helps her with everything and when she's planning something like the wedding it has a million bags on the bar with name tags and everything she's telling Shelly all these orders and Shelly's just following yep mm -hmm, yep yep sure yep and so I think you guys are gonna be really really happy together So Mimi, once again, I have to tell you that you changed my mind. I believe in luck because, because meeting you is the best thing that has ever happened. To, <laughs> it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. You changed my life for the better. You've made me a better person and you've made me truly happy. I don't think anybody here would ever doubt his lack of effort, commitment to his goals. When he gets his mindset to anything, he will bring everybody together and said, hey, we're gonna go and practice three times a week. We're gonna do this. Whether it's college soccer, getting the guys out there to practice, or his business, become elite. When he's committed to something, he has that relentless commitment that is just tireless, and he raises everybody up.
I was always like, whoever marries my brother is a special person. <laughs> like, and I could not imagine a more special person. Mimi and her family is the perfect addition to our family. And Mimi came in and she's perfect and I love you guys. And she is just a, my sister now and I just love her. I've also learned to mimic what I believe are the things that have led to Matt's many successes. One of those successes is his relationship with Mimi. And what I believe has helped pave the way to this beautiful, now officially, marriage is the lengths they are willing to go through for each other and the obstacles they are willing to overcome because their love will always come first.